Let's talk about how to create a killer programmer portfolio that will get you the job. I'm a self-taught developer and the CTO of Career Karma. I've interviewed hundreds of junior developers and helped dozens of people find jobs. So here's my advice on programming portfolio ideas that will stand out in the job search. Before we jump in, let's talk about three main categories of programming projects you should have in your portfolio. First, you should have a project you built on your own from scratch. This will demonstrate your ability to work autonomously and build something from the ground up. The second category is a legacy project. Typically, when you join a company, you'll be maintaining existing code. So demonstrating your ability to learn the code base quickly and building additional features on top of it is critical. If you have a hard time finding a legacy project, you could find a starter project that's open source on GitHub or swap projects with a friend. The third category is group projects. When you join a company, you'll be working as part of a bigger team. Knowing how to communicate technical concepts, collaborate with others using Git and GitHub will make you stand out in the eyes of the interviewer. You're hired. Now that we've covered the types of projects you want to have in your portfolio, let's talk about programming portfolio ideas. Keep in mind that you want these projects to demonstrate your technical depth, so make sure each has a focus on front end, back end, or full stack. For your personal project, I recommend building a full stack clone of a popular app or service like Spotify, Yelp, Twitter, Evernote, Netflix, or another big tech company. You'll need to create user interfaces, ability to sign up and log in, and a server with a database to store your users' information. For your legacy project, I recommend finding something that already has an existing user interface and either creating a new feature or a whole new part of the app. For your group project, Focus on either working on the front end or back end. If you pick front end, then make sure to architect the components, pick a styling library, and the framework to use like React, JS, or Redux. If you're focusing on the back end, then architect the API endpoints, the database schema that will pass the data to the front end. If you end up using something like React Native, you could deploy your mobile iOS or Android apps to the App Store or Google Play which will score a lot of points with your interviewers. Now that you have three excellent projects, you need to create a programming portfolio website. Now, a lot of beginners spend weeks building their portfolio sites. In my opinion, it's a mistake. Your time is better spent practicing React and Node.js and tackling real programming challenges. What I recommend is finding a good looking portfolio template online. You could actually see the portfolio template that I used by going to artermeister.me. Now, in your portfolio sites, make sure you actually have GIFs or high-resolution images that demonstrate the main parts of your application, along with a description of the app, the technologies you used, and what you built. Your project should have a link to your GitHub repository and be deployed on GitHub pages or Heroku so anyone can easily access them online. If your project has authentication, bonus points for creating a test account that someone can log in and see the app without actually requiring to sign up with their email address and password. Now that you have your portfolio, watch my other video on how to become a software engineer, where I break down how I got a job as a software engineer and became the CTO of Career Karma. Comment below which project ideas you want to build or share a link to your portfolio site and I will let you know what I think. Let's break in.